and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you how to do my favorite super easy and fast hairstyles. So let's begin with the hairstyles. Okay, so this is the look of the first hairstyle which is called the French fishtail braid. So stay here and keep watching to learn how to do it. Enjoy! I'm starting out with clean and brushed hair. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to do a little dance before you start because your hands are going to be up for a long, long time. So here, I start parting my hair on the side. But you can actually part it however you want because it won't really affect your braids. Now, I take a small section of hair from the top left side and once I have it sectioned off, it should look like a triangle. Just like that. I take my finger and divide that section into two equal parts. To begin the French fishtail braid, I take a small part of hair from the bottom section and put it to the top section. And then I take another small part of hair from the top section and just put it into the bottom section. So here where we begin by adding hair. So again, I'm going to take a small section from the bottom half and put it to the top half. And then we're not done there yet. I'm going to take another small section but from the hair that hasn't been touched yet and put it over that little section. And now we're going to repeat. So take a small section from the top half, put it to the bottom half, and then add hair. You can make this braid as tight or as loose as you want. So again, I'm going to take a small section from the bottom half, put it to the top half, and then add hair from the bottom. I'm taking another small section, tossing it to the other side, and adding hair. So these are basically the steps on how to do the French fishtail braid. And guys, I do know it does look super, super hard and super, super confusing. But trust me, by watching more of these videos and by practicing on your hair, it will help you so much that everything will seem so easy to you. And I actually was in your place first when I started doing my hair. Everything seemed so hard to me and I was like, why do these people put easy and fast on their video titles? I just, I was so confused guys, just like you are probably right now. But by practicing and watching those videos over and over again and just remembering the steps, I got really, really, really good at doing my hair and doing any hairstyles that I could possibly think of. So from now on, as you can see, I'm just starting the regular fishtail braid. And if you guys don't know how to braid a regular fishtail braid, I'm going to tell you the steps. So I'm taking a small section of hair from one of the sections and I'm putting it to the other side and doing the same thing from the other side. And again, just so you guys remember, I'm taking a small section from one of the sides, putting it to the opposite side and then taking a small section from that opposite side and putting it to the other side. I know again, it doesn't make sense, but just look at the video and you will learn how to do it. It's so easy guys. I just put it to fast forward just so it doesn't take a lot of time from us. And now as I have my full braid, I'm going to stretch it out. And oh my gosh, I love, 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 love stretching out any braids. Like any braids that I do, I love stretching them out because I feel like they look fuller. And of course they look prettier. And for other people, it looks like you put a lot of effort into braiding your hair. Trust me. So now, of course, I'm doing the other side. I put it to fast forward just because those are the same exact steps that I did on my left side. So just keep watching this until I finish this hairstyle. OK, 
Okay, so here's where I just stop adding hair and do the regular fishtail braid that I already explained how to do, so keep watching. So this is where I started stretching out the braid and you can see how full it looks. Now as I have the two braids ready, I'm going to release the other braid from the hair tie and then pull the two braids to the back of my head and secure them with a hair tie. And now, enjoy the finished look! Before I show you my second favorite easy and fast hairstyle, make sure you go and subscribe to my channel and turn on that little bell so you get notified whenever I upload in the future and also scroll down to the comments and comment done once you did those two things because I give you guys shout outs at the end of each of my video. So good luck to everyone! So my second hairstyle consists of three cornrows. Keep watching to learn how to do them. And again, brush your hair before you start. That will help a lot. Just like with the first hairstyle, I begin by parting my hair off on the side just so I can fit three, exactly three cornrows. And here I part it off from the top to the back of my ear. Bring the rest of the hair to the other side and tie it with a hair tie so it's out of the way. Here I part my hair to start the first cornrow that is gonna be the bottom cornrow. So now, to begin braiding, I'm taking a really, really small section from the front and dividing it into three equal parts to start braiding. And remember, this is a Dutch braid, okay? So, you take the top strand, put it into the middle, and then take the bottom strand and put it into the middle. And then whichever is the top strand, again, you put it into the middle, and whichever is the bottom strand, you put it into the middle. And then you take hair, you basically add hair to the strand and then do the same thing from the top put it into the middle and then add some hair and then whichever is the bottom strand you put it into the middle and then add more hair to that bottom strand that is in the middle oh and also make sure that your braids are super tight because it will look better just like with the first hairstyle guys I know this hairstyle looks even harder but trust me, if you guys learn how to do Dutch braiding, you'll become so, 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 so good at cornrows. So I hope you guys know the steps on how to do this braid at this point. And if you guys don't, make sure to go back and re-watch this whole hairstyle. And if you already guys do know how to do it, I'm gonna put it on fast forward and just keep watching how I finish this hairstyle. Here I parted off my hair for the second braid and left another part for the third. And basically the steps are the same exact as we did for the bottom braid. And now I begin with the third braid. At this point guys, I'm pretty sure your hands are gonna be so tired. But trust me, the end result is going to be so worth it. Okay, so let's look at the result. So this is it for this video guys, I hope you liked it and if you
you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends just so they also see this video and learn how to do these two beautiful hairstyles. So today's video shout outs go to Sarah Batool, Brittany Ramos, and let's see, um, Cindy Anna Rose. Shout out to you guys and thank you so much for subscribing and turning on my bell. If you also want to check me out on other social media that I have, which is Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat, go, 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 and check me out. My username is at Gafur for all of them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember that I love you so much and can't wait to see you on my next video. Bye!